Welcome to another session of TISNET GK. Uh, it's been three months since we have been doing this, these sessions and I hope you are benefiting from them, you are liking these sessions. Do give us some feedback on the sessions by commenting in the comment section of the videos. If you like anything or even if you don't like something, do let us know in the comment section. And we are soon coming out with a crash course on Tisnet GK with a very strong emphasis on GK. So stay tuned to us, stay tuned to this channel for more information on the crash course for Tisnet. So here are my gives once again. If you are looking at strategic input or inputs related to current affairs and GK, subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking for quantitative aptitude related content, please subscribe to our channel Mend Your Math. You can also join our WhatsApp groups or Telegram channel by scanning the QR codes. Uh, alternately, you can also contact us by sending a WhatsApp message on these numbers 9343921347952092468. You are welcome to explore our courses on www.pathfinderforme.com So let's get started with the first question of this edition. First question, who has become the 49th Chief Justice of India? The correct answer is Uday Umesh Lalit. In fact, another interesting fact is he has been elevated from the Bar Council and he, he was not a judge earlier on but an elevated uh, but elevated from the Bar Council of India. Now, the Chief Justice of India is generally appointed by the President and Uday Umesh Lalit was appointed in August 2022 and Venkatesh Ramanna was the outgoing Chief Justice and surprisingly he is the 49th Chief Justice of India and I don't know whether that is good for a country as old as or as young as 75 year old. So that means just over 1.5 years an average term for a serving Chief Justice. I don't know whether that is good or bad for the judicial system as a whole. But the longest serving Chief Justice has been Justice Chandrachur. So he served for just more than 7 years. And the first Chief Justice, Hiralal Kaniya, in fact, he continued from 1947 to I think 1951. For the first three years, he was a part of federal court, which was started in 1937 and it became the Supreme Court of India after India became a republic in 1950. Interestingly, APJ Abdul Kalam and Pranab Mukherjee, they were the two presidents who appointed a largest number of six chief justices each during their tenure as presidents of India. You know, that's just an interesting tidbit which you might know and and Kamal Narayan Singh incidentally was the chief justice who was appointed for 17 days yes you heard it right he was there as the chief justice only for 17 days now I really don't know what that means in fact I, I was going through the list of chief justices and I saw some of them in fact quite a few of them had terms of just around that one year mark you know 280 days 282 days 364 days and so on. Next question. Indian origin Lakshman Narsimhan has been appointed as the CEO of which American multinational company? Your options are Facebook, Starbucks, Amazon and Apple. The correct answer here is the Seattle based Starbucks. So Starbucks currently has a turnover of around 30 billion dollars. This was a company started in 1970s. The founders are Jerry Baldwin, Zeev Siegel and Gordon Walker. The headquarter as I already told you is Seattle in US of A. Lakshman Narsimhan incidentally has been born and brought up in uh, India and he did his engineering from COEP and his MBA from Wharton. The current CEO is Howard Schultz who is expected to remain CEO till 31st March 2023. So this has been an announcement and Narsimhan is expected to assume charge from 
1st April 2023. Next question. Who has become the first Indian cricketer to play 100 matches in all formats? Now, this became an easy question because of the options. Can't be Hardik Pandya, can't be KL Rahul. And Rohit Sharma has not played enough number of tests. And therefore, the correct answer here must be Virat Kohli. So, first Indian and the second player overall to achieve this feat. The other player is Ross Taylor from New Zealand. So, Virat Kohli has 27 centuries in tests and 43 centuries in ODIs as of now. Next, the purpose of choke in tube light is? The correct answer is to increase voltage momentarily. Next question. BC Roy award is given in the field of? Now, BC Roy award is given in the field of medicine. So, who was B.C. Roy? Let's understand. So, B.C. Roy was an Indian politician. He was a doctor. He was also an educationist. And he served as the Chief Minister of West Bengal from 1948 to 62. And this award is instituted in his memory. 1st July, incidentally, is also the birth date of Dr. B.C. Roy. So, he was born on 1st July 1882. So, it is this particular award, B.C. Roy Award was instituted in 1962 in the memory of Dr. B.C. Roy by the Medical Council of India. It is president, presented by the President of India on the Doctor's Day, that is July 1st. And July 1st is observed as the Doctor day, Doctor's Day in the memory of B.C. Roy because he was born on July 1, 1882. Next, which is the highest gallantry award in India? Your options are Param Vishisht Seva Medal, Param Veer Chakra, Kirti Chakra and Veer Chakra. This is an obvious answer. The correct answer is Param Veer Chakra. So, Param Veer Chakra, Veer Chakra, sorry, Param Veer Chakra, Mahavir Chakra and Veer Chakra in that order are the highest gallantry awards that are given during the time of war in India. And for peacetime, Ashok Chakra, Kirti Chakra and Shaurya Chakra are awards given for courageous acts or acts of bravery. So, Major Somnath Sharma was the first recipient of the Paramvir Chakra way back in 1947 and the last four recipients were uh, Captain Vikram Batra, Lieutenant Manoj Pandey, Grenadier Yogendra Yadav and Rifleman Sanjay Kumar. They received during the Kar Kargil War in 1999. Next, Rhodesia is the old name of which of the following countries? Zaire, Zimbabwe, Switzerland and Malawi. The correct answer is Zimbabwe. So, it was named Rhodesia after the founder of this colony. It was an erstwhile British colony and the person who founded this colony was Cecil Rhodes and it was named as Rhodesia after him. So currently Zimbabwe is a republic, its capital is Harare, Robert Mugabe was the first president and Emerson Nangagwa, the correct, current president, I hope I got the pronunciation right. Another tidbit is that Zimbabwe is a landlocked country. Next, Mount Koziushko is the highest mountain in your options are Russia, Canada, Australia and Indonesia. The correct answer is Australia. So it is the highest peak in Australia. In fact, it is walkable. It's only 2,228 meter tall. And in fact, as far as I know, uh, within 4 or 5 kilometers of the peak, you can actually cycle your way to the peak. Next, the famous book Gulam Giri was written by. Your options are B. R. Ambedkar, Narayan Guru, Jyotiba Phule and M. P. Pillai. The correct answer here is B. Jyotiba Phule. Jyotiba Phule who was called as Guru by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. 
Ambedkar used to consider him as his guru. So this was the first book, Gulam Giri, which was written against the caste system in India. He tried to rationalize, he tried to reason against the existing caste system. In fact, uh, this book has been written in the form of a dialogue between Jyotiba himself and a fictitious character named Dhondiba, where Dhondiba uh, raises certain issues and Jyotiba tries to answer. You would also remember that we covered Jyotiba Phule in a previous session and I had told you that he was the founder of Satya Shodak Samaj in 1873. Next, the Treaty of Vasai. Basain is basically a place near Mumbai called Vasai. The Treaty of Basain was signed between whom? Your options are Bajirao II and Lord Cornwallis. Bajirao II and Lord Minto, Bajirao II and Lord Wellesley, Bajirao II and Lord Amherst. The correct answer is Bajirao II and Lord Wellesley. So this treaty, Treaty of Vasai, it marked the control, the establishment of control of British over what was known as the Maratha Empire. In fact, it marked the downfall of Maratha Empire. So what had happened was, Battle of Pune was fought between Yashwantrao Holkar from Indore and Sindhyas and Bajirao II in Pune. Yashwantrao Holkar, he won this particular battle and pushing the two away from Pune. So when they wanted to get back Pune, they aligned with British and they signed this Treaty of Vasai. So after this Treaty of Vasai, British were also able to sign a similar treaty of peace with Yashwantrao Holkar and that marked the decline of Maratha Empire. So that brings me to an end of this particular session. You can scan these QR codes if you want any of these. Pathfinder for me for GK inputs and inputs in strategy, Mendir Math for mathematics and quantitative aptitude related content. Uh, you can also contact me, contact us on these numbers 9343921347 and 9522924468. And you're welcome to check out our courses on www.pathfinderforme.com. You could also connect with me directly on 9826062415 in case you have any career related queries or any questions related to our courses also. Thank you.